Hey there, welcome back. Today's video is going to be a quick review of the new La Mercier Silk Cream Oil-Free Photo Edition Foundation. It's like a long name. Um, I figured instead of doing a review on my blog, I figured I'd do a quick video review because I've been testing it out for a little bit and I wanted to give you my thoughts. Um, so I believe this replaced the old Silk Cream Foundation from Laura Mercy, which I had never tried. So I will just preface this by saying I don't know what that performed like. All I know is how this performs. So this just launched and it comes in two different formulations. So there's one that's oil free that's better for oily skin. And I think there's just the regular Silk Cream Photo Edition Foundation. And one gives like a more of a matte finish, the oil free one. And then the other one gives kind of like a, a natural, slightly probably more luminous finish that's better for dry skin. So I have the oil-free one in the shade Cream Ivory. The shades were a little bit hard for, so the, the colors have definitely changed versus um, like I have used other foundation colors from her before and I wasn't the same shade in this one. So I think colors changed a little bit. So I'm the shade Cream Ivory, which I feel was a good fit. Um, I am actually wearing it today. So I decided to wear it for the video so you guys can see it kind of in action and how it looks on the skin, which is hard, I know, because I mean, it's not, we're not super, super close, but I wanted to at least wear it um, so you can see maybe a little bit, get an idea of how much coverage it gives, if it's not too shiny, which it's not. Um, all right, so I'll give you my thoughts on it. And yeah, so I have been using it, like I said, for a week or two, which uh, is definitely enough time for me to kind of give my opinion on a foundation. Uh, I can pretty much give my opinion on foundation within the first day or two. You just know kind of how it wears and how you're going to like it. But I wanted to give it a few days because sometimes my skin can change from day to day. So it is definitely, so I've, I've had some growing pains with it. And I'm glad that um, I did because then I was able to really figure out the best way to use it and then get the best results. Uh, which I really got some fantastic results. So initially, I kind of like squeeze some out into like a little... Um, you know, tissue, and then I take my buffing brush and I just kind of like dabbing it on my skin and I just kind of buff it around. That was way too much coverage. This stuff, you will need only a little, little, little bit. Um, I was just kind of like dotting around my skin and just kind of blending it out. I really didn't kind of know how much coverage it had, but it has a lot of coverage. So I just scrapped that whole application process and I squeezed it out onto a tissue and now I just take my brush and just kind of literally dab it in just the smallest amount and it can cover a good portion of my face. And so that was the first kind of thing that I discovered. And once I started doing that, it is a gorgeous flawless finish. It does give a natural matte finish, which I like. Not too powdered. Um, I have no powder on it um, right now. So it does give like a nice natural matte finish, not like a liquid powder finish. And I do, I can use powder over it. Um, I found that the first day I wore it, I got a little shiny right around three o'clock. Um, the second day I wore it, I used less. I didn't get as shiny. And the third day I got a little shiny around three or four o'clock, which is fine because I just used a little bit of powder to touch up, no big deal. But I didn't use powder to set it. So I should say that in the, um, that mornings that I used it. I didn't use any powder to set it. And it oxidizes just a little bit, like enough where I look healthy rather than it's too dark. So I was kind of, you know, that's always my concern is my foundations tend to oxidize and I'll get like a darker face than my neck. But this definitely oxidized just a small amount to the point where I just looked healthy. Like it looked, you know, fresh and, and healthy. Um, rather than oxidize it to a whole darker color. I did find um, it didn't pull on dry patches only if I had a really significant dry patch. Like if I had a really bad dry patch, I would kind of have to put a little bit more moisturizer on that and kind of blend it out. But it really kind of just glides right on. I don't use my fingers. I like using a brush, either a buffing brush or kind of like a straight, solid kind of foundation brush, something like this, you know, like one of those skinny ones. And it gives great, great coverage. So it will cover anything you need it to cover. Um, and it lasts all day. Like it's a pretty um, solid foundation. It will take you through most of the day and you won't really need to touch up. Not that I ever touch up my foundations because that would just be like way too much. Um, but touch up with powder if you want to put concealer or whatever. 
Um, I did not have to with this at all. And yeah, so I mean, overall, I really enjoyed it. I've been using it pretty much every day since I started trying it because I just, um, going into summer now though, I'd be curious to see how it wears in the summer. So I definitely will keep you posted. And if it gets too oily or it kind of separates in the summer, I don't think that it will. Um, but this may be a little more coverage than I want in the summer. I may just have to take sheer it out with the beauty blender. But right now, this time of year and for winter, ugh, it is just, it's like flawless. Um, and things blend so well on it on top of it, like, you know, blush and powder and whatnot just kind of glide right on. So highly recommend it. Uh, if you have oily skin, definitely check out the oil free. Um, if you have drier skin, check out the other regular version. Um, I can't really advise on colors because the shades are kind of all over the place. It took me like a few minutes to even narrow it down that my shade was cream ivory. There was a few pale shades and I was like, oh, it was really hard to kind of pick. This one is more yellow based which I prefer to be, um, but the shades are kind of all over the place. So you may need to go to a counter and swatch. Don't use your previous Laura Mercier shades as a gauge or, you know, um, a determination of what shade you are now. So, uh, hope you guys enjoyed the review and I will talk to you soon. Okay. Take care. Bye-bye.